So this is my carry-on and I got this carry-on from Milk Makeup. They actually sent this to me, like they sent some makeup inside of it. I just, I personally hate checking bags. I am not a fan of checking bags. So I try to get everything on the plane with me. And I take a lot of stuff, so this bag is super organized. Burton does have its original version of this bag. This is the Milk Makeup version, so it is not for sale just yet. I don't know if they will actually end up coming out with it in the future. They said that they would be doing a giveaway on a couple of these. Um, so if you guys wanted to try to win this bag, I will have all the information in the description box. Until then, I will put a link to the original Burton bag in the description box. And this is actually a really inexpensive bag and it's very affordable. It is about a hundred, well no, it's about $200 but you can get it on sale right now for a hundred and something so on the side here you have two clips where you can lock your bag and you can actually pull these straps and adjust them and make them tighter so that it you know tightens your bag more if it's too big for the overhead bin because then they're gonna have you throw it under the plane ain't nobody got time for that and at the top here you have an unzippable compartment detached from the rest of the bag you can get to it from the inside too but i like that this is here so that just in case i need to pop in here and get something right away i can i had some leggings in here but i ended up taking them out and putting them on in the airport um but this is like a little bra thing um and then i have little bag for my underwear so in my bag i keep everything organized to keep everything separate this allows for you to one find things easier two it keeps TSA from seeing all your goodies when they open your bag if they have to check it let's say you know they say oh ma'am you have an explosive in your bag you probably don't have an explosive but I mean sometimes things just look different on an x-ray and they don't want to open up your bag and all of your goodies are flying out all your pads and your tampons and your bras and your panties I mean no man wants to see that that's why I keep stuff like this my mom got me these bags um, I don't remember where she got them from I think from Nordstrom Rack or something like that but you can use pretty much any bag you want as long as it conceals your goodies okay um, so this is for my underwear one side is for the wash the things that need to be washed one side is for the things that need to be worn I know what panties to wear and what not to wear because I mean obviously you don't want to wear the same pair of panties twice you know what I'm saying if you're if you're gonna be on a trip say for two to three days take four or five pair of panties because you just never know I have my loofah I keep it in this little Macy's bag but you can put it in whatever you want but I like to take a loofah with me I don't like using towels to take a shower I put that in a bag so that it doesn't get my bag wet after I've used it and that zips up at the top so just in case I need to reach in there and get something really quick I don't have to go through the entirety of the bag to get it so what I really like about this Burton bag in particular is like I said it is super organized and I'm I promise you guys are not being paid to say any of this. I just really love this bag and I'm so happy they sent it to me. So this is what the bag looks like. So as you can see, it's separated. You can cram so much in here. It squeezes the excess air out when you zip it. It's just perfect. So yeah, one side is for my clothes. One side is for my makeup and my toiletries and stuff like that. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of makeup and toiletries, you can fill this up with more clothes, but I, have to bring everything with me because I'm just paranoid and I like to have my options and you know I'm a junkie and I gotta have my stuff now before I had this bag I would just use a regular uh, carry-on bag and I would use Ziploc baggies to organize all of my clothes if you can fit your clothes into an extra large like one gallon Ziploc bag like a ghetto space bag <laughs> you put all your clothes in there and you can like sit on it and squeeze the excess air out and it'll flatten all of your clothes super super flat I use that trick a lot when I'm, wearing, when I'm bringing a lot of clothes. I was on a weekend trip, so this is not really taking up a whole bunch of space like it normally would if I were to be taking like a whole week's worth of stuff. But I have traveled places for a week with a carry-on, just a carry-on. I've done it before. You just have to get real creative with your packing. <laughs> but I have two pair of denim shorts in here. Now the other, another tip you can use is to roll up your clothes instead of just folding them. Rolling them up will give you a little more space. This is a button down shirt from Nordstrom Rack. No matter where I'm going, I don't care how hot it is, I don't care how cold it is, always have a button down and denim with you. Um, I was going to Texas and it's 100 degrees in Texas so I didn't bring any jeans but I would recommend wearing jeans on the plane and then if you're gonna have your shorts and stuff go ahead and do that but make sure you have some jeans with you at all times. Uh, and then I have this 
dress that I wore on Sunday, which I showed you guys on Snap. So I don't have any tips for packing shoes. Kind of just gotta fit them in where you can fit them in, girl. So I got two, um, these heels from Zara. And then I have some boots in here. These boots are some over the knee denim boots. I wore them in a photo shoot that I did with my hubs. And I got these from ASOS, but I saw them on Misguided first, but ASOS had them for the cheap cheap. And then this is just a swimsuit cover up. I didn't end up wearing it, but yeah. And then I have a belt at the bottom here and I always take these with me. These are strap perfects and these are essential to your life. If you don't have a convertible bra and you need it to be convertible, you can use these things to like make your bra straps come together in the back so that it doesn't show underneath tank tops and stuff. Over here is where we get technical, all right? Burton has these bags um, available, but they're not the exact same as these. I like these bags because they are super sturdy and you can pack fragile items in here and they won't get smushed. Before I had this bag, I would travel with Zuka bags, which is what I kept my makeup in. Zuka bags can be found on any like cosmetic website, like Camera Ready Cosmetics and stuff like that. I have these for when I used to do makeup, but these are perfect for traveling because they're, they're pretty flat, but they can pack a lot of stuff in here. I had these um, and you can fit a ton of stuff in here. They're, these are super expandable, but it has all of these different compartments in it and you can pack tons of like product in here. Uh, and you can find stuff like this at like Ulta, Walmart, Target. I mean, they have all kinds of bags. Just get a bunch of bags. This is all my hair, makeup, toiletries. You need to remember that all of your stuff needs to be under three ounces, three ounces or less. So I don't bring anything over three ounces because I know they're gonna go in my bag and take it out. Usually you can get away with keeping all of your stuff in your bag so it doesn't have to fit in one of those little Ziploc baggies. I've been traveling a lot and they haven't stopped me for having too much stuff. So, you know, as long as it's under the three ounce limit, you're gonna be clear. If you have like say big tubs of gel, big tubs of, you know, conditioner, shampoo, whatever, go to Sally's and they have like small leak proof jars and things like that to put your stuff in. This is Eco Styler Gel and I just put it in a smaller container so that I can travel with it. So I have some bobby pins in here and my Denman brush, I have a regular brush. Um, I always steal the stuff, like the shampoos and conditioners from <laughs> from the hotel if I like them. Because this is Peter Thomas Roth, so this is a good brand, so I always steal those. You know, they're there for the taking. And then in here I have all of my head scarves and I have my baby flat iron. I have all of my toiletry items. So I have my doctor, my baby Dr. Bronner soap, my Clinique cleansing balm. I can't live without this. Foreo Luna Mini, my moisturizer, which is by Tatcha, the, the pore perfecting water gel. I think something spilled in here. And that is unfortunate because I can feel everything is greasy. Prime example as to why you keep your stuff separate because something may open and spill everywhere and then it won't get your clothes dirty so the razor in here tweezers so at the bottom here i unzip this and this is my brushes this is how many brushes i take when i go out of town guys that looks like a lot i know but it's really not getting to the big dog so in here i have all of my makeup and of course i gotta take a lot because you know i have a problem so i take these little palette trays with me these allow me to mix foundations and things like that i usually take two or three of these with me just in case uh, i have another pair of lashes i have a clip for my hair um this is the lime crime venus palette i got this from beautycon dallas and my mom forgot to give it to me but it's a super cute palette look at that it's so pretty brought my modern renaissance palette with me i have my jaclyn hill palette because i mean it's bay there are two separate little pouches that have velcro on the back and they connect to the inside of the bag i have urban decay all-nighter spray I have the ben nye final seal because this stuff is heavy duty okay when i was in texas like i sprayed this all over my face and it kept my makeup like in place even when i was sweating y'all sweating color pop highlighter in churro color pop bronzer in bronze me I have my hula bronzer. I have a bunch of lip liners, lipsticks, mostly ColourPop, my Cabral, my brow products. And then in this one, I have my foundations and my powders. One or two foundations, max. One or two powders, max. And all of my concealers and stuff like that. So I've been using the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. So if you guys want to see a review on it, let me know. I'm thinking about doing a series called Foundation Friday, where I do reviews of new foundations 
on Fridays. What do you think? I have my Glean by Melanie Mills, of course, because I can't live without Glean by Melanie Mills. It gives me the greatest glow of all time. I also use it on my body too, so. I've been trying the Born This Way concealer. If you needed something very hydrating, it's very, very beautiful. I have my Click Stick in here to highlight and contour my face. LA Girl Pro Concealers, powder, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, which you guys know, it's the jam. Primer, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is a really good primer. And I have my Eyebrow Sealer by Model in a Bottle. This stuff is hot, heavy duty as well. Stick it onto the bag. Fits so nicely in there and it's just snug as a bug and a rug and you don't have to worry about it. Don't you love that? Like I said, you guys, I will have all the information you need about this bag in the description box. But if you guys would like to check out an alternative version or something like it, I have the link to that as well. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one, okay? Bye!